Hi again. What we're going to do in this episode is we're going to combine a couple common actions that you're going to do inside of your classes. If we look at our action script here, you remember that we created, uh, we're now dynamically creating the game button class in our, in our document class. But we still have to separately set the label. Whenever we create one of these buttons, we're obviously going to want to customize its label every single time. So it'd be nice if we could just do that all in one line. To do that, we can modify its constructor to accept a value, and then work with that value, and then inter internally within the class, use it to populate the label. So if we go into our game button, our constructor can accept a parameter. So let's go ahead and put in new label. And then I can say, uh, I'm going to say new label is going to be a string. And then inside of this, I can say, I can use our existing set label method. So I can say, the, uh, we're going to say, uh, we're going to say set label is going to be equal to new string. Oh, new label. So now that variable that we're going to be passing into the constructor will then use to set the label. So let's save that and go back to our document class. And we can now cut this line. And instead of having two lines, we can just put that string here. If we save and run this, you'll see it runs exactly the same. But what we're doing is we're using the constructor as a way to automatically populate some parameters of when we create the object. The constructor takes these parameters and then internally uses them to modify its location. It can modify all kinds of different internal objects. You can do whatever you want based on what you provide the constructor.